friends, I'm Akash, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn what prime numbers are. Before we begin, I just want to say, please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, so today, we are talking about prime numbers. First off, what are prime numbers? Well, prime numbers are natural numbers that are divisible by only two numbers. Those two numbers are one and itself. That means that prime numbers can't be divided any further and therefore are the basic building blocks of numbers. You simply cannot break them down further. Let's take the number one. One is divisible by one, and also by itself, which is one. So one only has a single divisor, which is itself, one. However, the rule states that it should be divisible by two numbers, not one number. So one, sadly, is not a prime number. Let's take two. Two is divisible by one and by itself, which is two. So. 2 is a prime number. Easy as that, easy test. Now 3. 3 is divisible by 1, but it's not divisible by 2. However, it's divisible by 3, which is itself. So, do you notice something here? Well, 3 is only divisible by two numbers, 1 and itself, 3. So, 3 is a prime number. You see how simple this is? I love the concept of prime numbers because it's that easy. All you have to do is just check whether it's divisible by each number until three. And there you go, it's done. It's that easy. Now, let's go for four. Four is divisible by one and two. Four isn't divisible by three, but it is divisible by itself, which is four. But Take a look, four is divisible by three natural numbers, not two as stated in the rule. So the number four is not a prime number. By the way, just to remind you, a number isn't prime if there are other numbers whose product is that number apart from one and itself. These numbers are called factors. So in the case of four, 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 is not a prime number. But 2 here is the other factor. So that's what factors are. Coming to 5. 5 is divisible by 1 and by itself. 5, but not by any other natural number. So 5 meets the requirements to be a prime number. See, 5 is divisible by 1, it's not divisible by two, not by three, not by four, but it is divisible by itself. That's five, so it meets the requirements to be a prime number. Now, let's try six. Six isn't divisible by four or five, but it's divisible by one, two, three, and itself, six. But look, Six is divisible by more than two natural numbers. It's divisible by four, that's a lot, four. So six right here is not a prime number. In other words, apart from one and six itself, we can get the number six if we multiply two times three. So six can be broken down further into two more smaller natural numbers, two and three. Therefore, six is not a prime number. Now, let's try seven. Seven can only be divided by one and itself, seven. See here, let's do this test. Seven is divisible by one, but it is not divisible by two, not by three, not by four, not by five, not by six, but it is divisible by seven, so seven is a prime number. I am really happy. This is, um, prime numbers are one of my favorite concepts in mathematics because it's so simple and it's useful for so much. It's really awesome, I love prime numbers. Let's try eight. Let's do eight now. Eight is divisible by one, two, four, and eight itself. 
So eight is definitely not a prime number as it clearly does not meet the requirements to be a prime number. It's divisible by more than two natural numbers as it is the product of two and four. Let's try nine. Let's try nine here. So nine can be divided by one, three, and nine itself. Two, four, five, six, seven, and eight cannot divide nine and give a natural number. They all have decimals at the back. The remainder won't be zero. Nine is divisible by more than two natural numbers, and therefore, it is not a prime number. Now, take a guess for 10. 10 is divisible by one, and then it's divisible by 10, of course, duh. But it's also divisible by two and five. It has more than two factors, it has four factors, so 10 is not a prime number. Now, let's try 18. 18 turns out to be the product of two and nine and three and six. So 18 is definitely not a prime number. Now, let's see whether 19 is a prime number or not. Except one and 19, there are literally no other numbers that can divide 19 further into the product of smaller natural numbers. The remainder of dividing one by two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on, so on, until 17, 18, the remainder will never be zero. So we can easily confirm here, 19 is a prime number. Let's do one more example, 97. Except one and itself, 97 cannot be divisible by any other number. There are no two whole numbers except one and 97 itself, but that's obvious. There are no two other whole numbers that we can multiply and get 97 as the product. So clearly, 97 is a prime number, and it is. There we have it. So now we've learned what prime numbers are. It's one of my favorite concepts in math. Now it's homework time. List out all of the prime numbers from one to 100. I'm very confident that you can come up with all the correct answers as you've clearly understood the concept of prime numbers. And just for your convenience, I'm listing out all of the prime numbers between one and 100 right in the description below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can watch all the new videos that I upload every time. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.